Hi there, this is Will from Stacks for Stacks and the purpose of this video today is to talk to you about the new Lister stack which I'm releasing. Uh, this is the webpage for Lister stack in front of me now, it's stacksforstacks.com forward slash Lister and if you come onto this webpage you can read all about what this stack can do. You can see some live examples of it and you can also download the free demo version and if you really like this stack then this is also where you can buy the stack to install into Rapid Weaver. So the basic background behind Lister Stack is that I was recently hired by um, a company in the UK to renovate their website basically to overhaul it. Um, they are a company which are involved quite heavily in construction of green sustainable buildings ranging from sort of small individual private houses right up to entire office blocks and things like that. And the website for them is very important because it's the first point of contact for a lot of their potential clients. Uh, they promote it a lot through all their advertising literature and marketing and things like that and social media. And the website beforehand wasn't too bad but I did quite a lot of work to completely sort of rejuvenate it, um, bringing in a lot of new content, new graphics and new design. And I was working in partnership with a designer and she forwarded me a lot of mock-ups of how pages look. And I had the job of going ahead and actually building those pages. One thing that became apparent from the start of the project is that they were going to make quite heavy use of bulleted lists. Uh, this was simply because a lot of the information they need is best served in bulleted format. Uh, they provide a lot of different products and services and bulleted lists are the most optimal way to present that information to potential clients. Now I had a look around at using existing list stacks for Rapid Weaver, but I couldn't find anything suitable. Part of the problem was that they wanted the bullet points to be a different colour to the list text. They wanted very fine control over the spacing between list items and the indentation from the left hand side. And most crucially as well, some of these lists were actually going to be nested lists, whereby you have sort of different hierarchies of list items within the same list. And I looked around all over the place, but I couldn't find anything suitable. So I decided to build my own stack which could handle everything I needed it to do and that's how we arrived at the Lister stack. And what I'll do is I'll switch over into Rapid Weaver now and just give you a quick running example of what the Lister stack can do and how it works. So Lister stack is a conventional stack element. What you want to do is to open your library, search for Lister as I've just done, drag and drop a copy into your page. And you'll see over here on the right hand side presented with a couple of different settings. Firstly, you can select the content type. By default, it's styled text, but we can also switch between HTML code, markdown, the website navigation links that Rapid Weaver generates. Um, the choice is yours what you want to use. You know, use whatever you feel most comfortable with using. Um, I would probably tend to lean towards markdown, which is what I did in this particular project for a client, but most people will probably want to stick with just styled text. Now, what we're doing with Lister Stack is we're just taking an existing um, list and converting it into a more stylish list. And because of that, what you need to do is you need to ensure that you always put a list within Lister Stack. At the moment, you can see I've just got some styled text on the page. Um, this isn't a list at the moment. So what I need to do is to just copy this content and I'll just expand on it slightly. And what I'm gonna do is highlight this content within styled text. And down here in the Stacks Styled Text toolbar, you want to click on List and you just want to apply a simple bulleted list. This is, you know, this is just for the, the basic foundation of getting this to work. You just need to have this list ready in the page, something there for the Lister stack to hook onto and to apply the styling to. Uh, so once you've got that done, you can see I've just got a very basic list there in the page. We can select the Lister stack again, and at this point we can choose our list style. Now there's a lot of different options available. Some of these just use the normal web browser list styles. That would be particularly true of things like Circle, Disk, um, Georgian, any of these lower or upper list style options. But we do have a few more sort of fanciful list styles available. What I can do is if I just show you, um, you can see that, that is just a, a normal disk um, bulleted list uh, which a web browser would generate. But we do have a few more advanced options in here. So for example, font awesome icon, that will apply nice little font awesome icons next to each list item. You can go to a font awesome website, you can just copy and paste the code for the desired icon you want to use, paste it straight into the box here. 
Um, as of recording this, I believe that Font Awesome have support for over 600 different icons. So you're bound to find a nice little icon you like the look of. Uh, you can change the colour of the icons quite easily in, in here in the settings. And indeed, you know, you can change the, the spacing between items. I've got a lot of two pixels at the moment, but we could put this up to say 20 pixels. And you can see that just spreads out the items a bit more. Uh, we can also change the margin actually above the icons. So we could do that here in the settings. We could try zero. Or we could even enter a negative value. So we could try minus three. Like that. And you can now see the top of the icon is in line with the top of the list item. There's also the option of um, coloured dots and the option of square dots. Where are we? Here we are. Actually, no, that's the wrong one. Um, coloured square, that's the one. There we go. So you've got the option of a few different ones. You can see some of these list styles have more options than others, uh, more, more customizable settings than others. Um, it depends purely on whether it's a custom list style which we are implementing in the stack or if it's one of the browser defaults which you are selecting for use. The other very nice feature of this stack is that it does support image bullets and I know this is something which has been requested quite a lot in recent times. You'll just want to select either a local image or warehouse image and I'm just going to go ahead and browse for a suitable image. So like this one here, this is just a quick screenshot I took of my desktop as an example. Uh, but you can see very quickly I can apply that as a bullet point. And this is a retina display compatible bullet point. If I wanted to, you know, I could um, apply a border radius to make this sort of a rounded um, image bullet. You know, you can really uh, play around quite a bit with this and, and invent all sorts of weird and wonderful list styles for your website. It's uh, very much a an extremely creative uh, list stack to work with. And another um, important factor with creating lists in websites is very often when you're dealing with product specifications or um, you know, products and putting out data sheets and things like that, it's important that people can print or save your content as a PDF very easily. And with that in mind, we do have a dedicated section in the list of stack where you can choose how the uh, list should be shown on print and PDF output, you know, if you just want a simple disk um, list style or you want numbered or something like that. And yeah, there's quite a few settings you can come in and play around with. Um, again, if you're using Font Awesome icons and you want to use this in a theme which doesn't have support for Font Awesome, you'll need to enable this setting at the bottom here. That's very important, this uh, cool Font Awesome icons to get that to work. So I hope you're very interested in trying out Blister Stack. There is a free demo version available on the website which you can download, install into Rapid Weaver and test it against real content in your web pages and just see how it works for you. And uh, should you have any further questions about this stack, then of course feel free to let me know. And I look forward to talking with you again soon.